Good morning, Hoboken Middle School. Happy Monday. I hope everybody had a great weekend with that good weather. You were able to enjoy it um, in some safe way uh, by going outside. I know that some streets in Hoboken were closed for you to walk around, so hopefully you took advantage of that. Today, for your English and your social studies assignment, you are taking the Linkit assessment. And I know all of our teachers sent out those posts this morning with your codes to um, log on. Remember, you can pause the test. You can ask your teacher tests about uh, questions about pacing or how long it should be taking you. So, you know, make sure that you check in with them if any questions come up while you're doing your Linkit assessment. But I will be checking to see who has completed that. So, you know, keep in touch if you are, are working on it, but you need a little extra time. Um, I went in and changed those grades that were submitted to me for TBDs over the weekend. So, for those of you that are cleaning that up, great. For those of you that need extra time, we're still okay with giving you that if you're working diligently. Some questions that have come up are related to students accessing their lockers to um, empty those out and get their belongings. So if something is not an emergency, um, if there is an emergency with something you need in your locker, contact me and I'll help you get what you need. But for things that are not an emergency and just cleaning out your belongings, we are crafting a plan that will help um, manage that throughout the remainder of the school year in an orderly and safe way. So stay tuned for that information to be shared. I also am sharing um, some information about uh, an academic achievement uh, virtual uh, presentation that we're putting together this week for our students that made honor roll and high honor roll for the second and third marking period. So in my message um, after this, there'll be some more details about submissions. Um, some families had asked about when that would be, so we're gonna make that happen this week. Um, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Other than that, have a great day. Hoboken Middle School will be celebrating the academic achievements of our students from marking period two and marking period three. We will be sharing the highlights in a slideshow that will be shared with families on May 22nd at 1 p.m. In addition to our students that received academic honors, we would like to give an opportunity to parents and teachers to submit a recognition for a student that you feel is doing exemplary work. If you would like to submit this, please send it to my attention and send it by Wednesday, May 20th. Include in that the student's name you are nominating, a reason why you are nominating that student, which I'm going to use, and a photo. Thank you. On May 21st, the Hoboken Public School District will be celebrating World Diversity Day. For this event, we are celebrating different activities throughout the week that show the diversity of our school community. For today, I would like us to focus on the exploration of cultural foods. So if you're making anything today that um, shares the different cultures in your family or you have something that you could share with us as a photo, that would be great so we could put that together. Thank you. Don't forget about our Hoboken Middle School virtual book clubs. One for our rising sixth graders that are currently in fifth grade and one for our current Hoboken Middle School students. Email your English teacher if you have any questions. And here is our Motivational Monday quote for the day, which as a math teacher, I love. No one is perfect. That's why pencils have erasers by Wolfgang Reeb. The Hoboken Middle School academic vocabulary word of the day is adversary, one who offers opposition. Hoboken Middle School daily challenges. First, our origami project of the week, a modular 12-unit cube by Tomoko Fusei, and our Sudoku challenge of the day.